Welcome back to the channel. Got that fresh cut. <laughs> All right, today we're at uh, Summit Summit Point again <clears throat> on the main circuit. There's a club race event. Looks like it's being hosted by a um, BMW group, but there's a bunch of different things that are running the track. So we're going to um, head over to the paddock and then go from there and get some good photos. Made it to the paddock. There's a really interesting mix of cars here today. I'm wondering if this is running, because that's really cool. Hello, dog. Oh, hi. <laughs> so hi. we're gonna walk around a little bit and uh, see what there is to see. Can I pet him? Of course. <laughs> We got Milo and Vincent here today, so doing some more photos. Milo, you want to plug your Instagram? Yeah, it's the Brewer Photos. Yeah. D a b r e u e r photos. Cool. I'll put a I'll put it on the screen Sick. right now, right over your face. Sick. Vincent, give us your Instagram. Yeah, follow me at b b o o l v b o o l six four. Give him a follow. I have no idea what Vincent posts on his Instagram, <laughs> so hopefully it's cool. Yeah. Hopefully it's worth your time to go search whatever he just said. I'll put it on the screen too, but you can check it out. Oh my God. Taylor's two favorite cars. Oh my God. <laughs> this is pretty cool though. I haven't seen a Mach 1 in person and this is a nice color on it. Holy crap. This thing is clean. It's got numbers on it, so maybe we'll get to see it hit the, uh, hit the track. All right, we've arrived. The entrance to the kind of the first corner for the front straight is that way. And I'm shooting, gonna shoot kind of along this corner here. Maybe work my way a little further down to get them as they come or like crest the turn in the back. But this is a pretty good spot to set up and just take some panning shots and some photos of them coming around this corner here. We're in that annoying part of the fall season where uh, I dressed, I wore a sweater and jeans this morning and immediately took the sweater off because it's very hot now. So I kind of regret wearing all black, but I'm gonna keep on pushing because that's what photographers do. I don't know, man, it's hot. Walking back through the paddock again and really hoping we run into Willow. That was a that little <laughs> dog because she's very cute and I wanted to take some pictures of her, but my car is full. Ah! I had one last, Aww. one last photo left. 
on the card. Willow. Reserved for Willow. <laughs> well, we are along the entrance to the front straight now. And uh, I'm gonna try to take some photos here and then work my way around to the um, other side of the corner. I uh, got, got my memory card situation fixed. For some reason, um, I got a, uh, well, I got a new MacBook as a uh, editing device. And for some reason it formatted my cards really weirdly. I'm not the most technologically savvy person, so I'll have to figure that out, but we're gonna keep on chugging. Well, for some reason, no spectators passed a certain point back that way, which kind of sucks, but when you don't have a media vest, you always want to make sure you're following the rules. If they tell you to do something, you just kind of stick with it. So I'm going to walk my way a little further up this section and um, play around with the uh, bridge here and see what happens. that I've been shooting with that thing all day because it's really heavy. Yeah. Which it is, but Holy crap. that's the... Uh, I can read the porta potty name. <laughs> that's the downside <laughs> of using a zoom lens is that they're oh typically goodness. more weighty. Wow. But we are in the car. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see you, it's so close. We're in the car. We're going to take it around to the um, kind of backside of the track where there's a couple more corners. Um, there's a spot that I haven't been to that is marked for spectators. So I'm going to try to work my way around there and see if that gives us a good view of the um, few corners before they enter the back straight. Uh, and then work my way maybe around to the bridge and around to the um, actual backside of the track. Driving a little car back here does not work very well because this uh, gravel path towards the infield no, this is, literally is a little sketchy. So. Uh -oh. <laughs> ah! We're kind of out of the bad part now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna floor it. Making you. <laughs> Making you look dramatic. <laughs> All right, I'm in the infield now, and I see some spec BMWs. It looks like E36s and a couple of E46s. So I am going to try to get some photos here along this side. There's this really nice spot here to just kind of watch um, this corner. So I'm going to probably stay here for a second, maybe venture up the hill a little bit, and then see what's going on out along that side. But this should definitely be good for some cool photos because I imagine there's a lot of action that comes along this part of the track. Well, these guys are pushing way, way harder than the um, two groups beforehand. So I can definitely say this is more fun. <laughs> at shooting at summit is trying to avoid getting all the porta potties in your shots because there's so many out here. Let's huh? talk to a guy out here who's shooting with an old 35 millimeter Minolta film camera and uh, I asked him why and he said it's the only camera he has that he has a telephoto lens for. So if you want to get out and shoot, no excuses. If he can do it on film, you can use your phone. Get out there and take some photos. 
Well, another thanks to Matt and No Luck Tracking. I'm using this giant Sigma 170 to 500, racing it against my arm, and seeing if I can just get way out into the, um, those, those kind of back corners there with this thing. It's super heavy, but it's kind of fun. on the bridge now. We're gonna try to take advantage of the two spots on the outside to get some photos and um, maybe pull out that 500 millimeter lens again and see if we can get anything cool. But maybe Milo will take one direction and I'll take the other and we'll switch and uh, see if we can get anything cool. Looks well, like they're breaking for lunch, so so are we. So I think that's gonna be a wrap on the video. Um, I'll leave links to Milo and Vincent's Instagram and uh, channel links to my good friends, Matt and Liz over at No Luck Garage and No Luck Trucking um, down in the description. So be sure to go check them out, show them some love. Um, if you liked what you saw, be sure to leave a like. And um, if you wanna subscribe, it'd mean a whole lot. I'm gonna be posting as much as I can. Um, just about my photography adventures in the world of cars and motorsport. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.